today's topic is uh, truth maintenance systems hello ma'am okay. maintenance systems hello hello ma'am yesterday we discussed about uh, dialog module and uh, wait 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 explanation module we discussed no ma'am that you have doubt not uh, it's not practical doubt ma'am not about that uh, subject i got one doubt which is practical as okay. they exist in the society like the expert systems when we ask some questions answering by machines like that do you have fever or yes or no any machine is there i mean that like that in the society yes there was a machine called mycin m y c i n is exist in our country um country means uh, i think it was developed uh, in foreign but we can use it um mycin expert system uh look at the, this but we 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 could use it um hmm look at here it it, it is used to identify bacteria severe infection and refer antibiotic okay uh, look at here <laughs> practical only in research laboratories it was used but practically in practice it was not used okay ma'am and when you are saying about that and this i am thinking like that yeah very good are they available to the normal people or not i didn't heard about it any time in the society you can ask some questions like this you will answer for constructing building this place is available or not how can we construct a building we are not using like that anywhere in the society are they available or not i got doubts so i am asking that a very good doubt manisha really i am very happy with you um you know manisha um now that google's um, this uh, what is this uh, okay google and um, uh, this uh, siri apple siri and microsoft cortana they all use machine learning uh, you know concepts do you know that uh, now they are a, a useful uh, you know uh, for public yes ma'am uh, these are machine learning applications only but at that time uh, when these expert systems were developed 20 years ago uh they were used in research laboratories and uh, um what happens is uh, it, it was it was sort of uh, you know uh, experimenting with uh, whether a machine will be able to um, you know guide the humans but manisha you you see uh, expert system is based on if then clauses how many if then clauses we can give tell me it is not possible no so that's why this was having um, practically very limited use however uh, when machine learning came into existence now if you whatever your doubt is you can ask google uh, do you have any Uh, uh open land nearby which i can purchase or are there any restaurants nearby and uh, please book a, a ticket for a movie um, tonight all these things now uh, this uh, machine learning my uh, systems are successors to expert systems so now they are able to do all that yeah so you will not ask any questions to ma'am how much no, land do you want or which qualities do you want like this google will not ask you can't say google as expert system ma'am uh google is an expert system no not normal google hey google uh, that okay google 
when you say okay. in your phone did you did you any time use okay google no ma'am this i have but uh, no. i'm not using today you should use it okay ma'am okay use. and you should tell me your experience tomorrow because okay. i i used it it asks the questions uh, okay oh, what you do you say you have a smartphone no yes ma'am uh, you say um, hey google uh, then it opens and then it uh, ask the question uh, okay ma'am and voice assistant is also there uh, otherwise hey google or okay it will ask thing or not i don't know google assistant i have yeah google assistant only that google assistant only it will be opened when you say um hey google okay ma'am hey google what did i ask <laughs> it, 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 it it will ask you very interesting questions okay ma'am and you know something <laughs> you can chat with uh, that ah there was one more uh, uh, application uh, manisha i used to have it on my mobile uh, now i i have uninstalled it i will let you know uh, you know it used to interact with me because sometimes if i get bored i used to open it and then uh, it used to talk to me uh, what how are you feeling today um, what's happening and then uh, if i say that uh, i am happy then it used to say uh, very glad to hear that you are happy what makes you happy then if i tell something it gives me some answer then it we used to do activities you know i i think i used it for one year it was such a excellent app you know but then we can call uh, the system <laughs> yes manisha nice i didn't yeah. do that any time but i will use today uh, you use today and you know manisha what happened uh, that uh, app it used to uh, ask me some question and it used to tell me what kind of personality i possess it uh, it asked me number of questions uh, uh, what do you feel when you see uh, a small child uh, what you do when you see a um, poor person and how you treat your you know subordinates how you behave with your um, uh, colleagues all that number of questions it asked and it it told me that you are very compassionate and all these nice nice things he told me to me you know i felt very happy i i even kept it uh, uh, um uh, that i screenshots i kept it whatever it uh, gave whatever opinion it gave about me that was also very nice that was like kind of expert system but now it is experts you know manisha expert system was uh, built using if then means we have to specify all the necessary clauses if uh, it rains then something if it does not rain then something if it is sunny then something but nowadays we don't use a, uh, expert system developed uh, using that sort of technique uh, rather we develop a expert systems uh, using machine learning so now expert systems are available everywhere uh, but they are not built using this traditional and conventional mechanism do you understand manisha yes ma'am okay very good so let us uh, it's very nice that you are uh, uh, i uh, what i was wondering you know uh, i was thinking that i think you will write your exam very well because you are attending all the classes you are gaining knowledge and uh, you are understanding the concepts and also asking very nice questions so uh, what you do is try to learn more about this subject and try to do your final project uh, in ai only and uh, you know there is a great demand for ai uh, experts so you can become an ai expert thank you ma'am but okay. uh, i am hmm. from accounts background ma'am commerce no problem what, what you so have you like it also perfectly ma'am 
what you don't know perfectly c language also i don't know perfectly uh-huh. okay okay thinking about it what no, should no, i do no, pro- no problem i will share with you one so link you can learn everything but hmm. sources or uh, not get what should i learn hmm. i will tell you i will guide you thank uh, you you should learn python from now today only you should start learning python um, okay. you know there is a app so the language knowledge can we learn that yes you can learn it you okay. have system at home no ma'am only mobile okay no problem even in mobile uh, i am going to share with you okay you tell me your uh, mobile number i will save and i will share you all the nice apps so that you can start them tell me your mobile number 84 now i will share with you whatsapp is there no in this s yes, ma'am hmm. um <coughs> sometimes we don't realize our uh, um potential others will realize uh, i feel that you should learn this ai and uh, python and machine learning okay i will hmm? you should start from today only okay ma'am i will share with you one app is there great learning app uh this app in this python course is available so you okay. should start join that course and start learning okay and there is one one uh, app called python in this you can you can learn python and you can also execute python programs okay ma'am okay can okay. uh, both the apps you install today and also you try to can i ask you ma'am mm yes if i get any doubts in that or uh, anything can i ask you definitely definitely you can ask me and i am thinking of uh, uh, giving some uh, explaining you one project also uh, on ai machine learning um, mm. i will explain definitely you can ask me whatever doubt you are getting and uh, all i want is my students to learn and to flourish and to grow and to become great programmers and developers and also great human beings okay my so will definitely definitely you have to start today and okay. also you should uh, uh, interact with the google assistant also today okay ma'am okay so let us begin our talk you know manisha whatever we learn in the book that is restricted only to uh, you know very limited domain but when you start implementing and using and thinking about a real world application only then you will learn it and you will use it in day to day life so just from book you learn you read you write exam is not adequate to gain insights into the subject so like this type of questions what you are getting when you are studying uh, only will help you in um, in you know getting in depth knowledge about a subject so let us look at a truth maintenance system okay ma'am uh, so what is this this is a, a component a component of uh, expert system uh, which uh, uh, which comes into action when new knowledge is added to the uh, knowledge base when you add new knowledge what happens is sometimes you are contradicting with the existing knowledge uh, there are certain situations in which um the present uh, 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 present ideas opinions 
uh, will become invalidated because of the introduction of new ideas, new opinions and uh, new comments about something. So, uh, for, for instance, uh, if I tell you that uh, our choices and our favorites will not remain same throughout our life. For instance, uh, if I say today that um, I like that movie so much. Suppose after a month or two, a new movie gets released and I watch it and I feel that this is better than the previous one. So my idea and my opinion uh, has changed. I say that no, this movie is better than the previous movie. So certain things uh, will not remain same. Whereas certain other things will remain same. For instance, if I say that, uh, um, if I say that uh, John, John is a boy uh, or a John is a male, male person, um, then it, uh, uh, you know, typically remains same throughout his life. He, he will be called as a male only. So uh, certain facts will not change. Whereas certain ideas and opinions will change. So uh, in truth maintenance system, um, the primary purpose of it is that whenever new information is added, uh, if it contradicts with the existing information system, uh, existing knowledge, then what it has to do is it has to uh, take necessary action uh, to 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 update it to update the knowledge base. So there are two kinds of uh, truth maintenance system. First one is uh, monotonic systems, and second one is non-monotonic systems. Monotonic system. Um, is a type of system in which uh, the knowledge base uh, will not be changed because it contains certain uh, facts which will remain true once they are confirmed. If I tell you that uh, uh, Simba is a tiger, uh, recently Simba movie is released, no? So Simba is a tiger if I say, um, then Simba will remain tiger, uh, you know, throughout it, uh, its life. It's not like Simba will become an elephant later at a, um, at a later point of time. It does not happen. Uh, essentially, certain uh, knowledge facts are um, true no matter what new information is added to the system. Um, that is monotonic system. Monotonic system says that once a fact or a piece of knowledge is stored in the knowledge base, it cannot be changed during the process of reasoning because it is confirmed to be true and it remains true. And it, it can never be modified no matter how much uh, more information is added to the knowledge base. This is monotonic system. Next one is non-monotonic system. In non-monotonic system, uh, the knowledge which was added to the knowledge base may be updated, may be modified, may be changed due to the uh, introduction of new knowledge which contradicts the existing knowledge. Uh, hence, uh, we can say that uh, certain knowledge in the knowledge base is not fixed. 
um, it, it, it can be changed. Um, for instance, if I give you an example of monotonic and non-monotonic, if I tell you that um, first example is if I say that birds birds fly birds fly what you will conclude from this statement that all the birds will fly and uh, we add another uh, clause we say that penguin is a bird. If I say penguin is a bird, what you will derive, what new knowledge you derive from this, that penguin can fly. Because penguin is a bird. Uh, from this existing knowledge um, of two clauses which state that birds fly, and penguin is a bird. Uh, we can derive new knowledge that penguin fly. Later, um, a new um, clause is added to the knowledge base stating that penguins can't fly. Penguins can't fly. When I say penguins can't fly, this conclusion becomes invalidated, becomes false. Why it becomes false? Because a new knowledge is added in the knowledge base which, which says that penguins can't fly. Although a penguin is a bird, but it can't fly. So, I'll get back to you one minute. Okay, Manisha, I'm back. So what happens is when you add this new knowledge, uh, this conclusion becomes invalidated. So this is non-monotonic uh, system. 
where uh, where um, uh, knowledge can be changed. Um, let us look at an example of monotonic reasoning. If I say that, um, for example, Simba. Simba is a tiger. Simba's father is a tiger. Simba's father is a tiger. And if I say that tiger, tigers lives in cave. Okay. From this, suppose if you are uh, deriving a conclusion that uh, Simba is a tiger. Because Simba's father is a tiger. Okay. Simba will obviously be tiger. Uh, it is, uh, uh, you know, universal that tiger's children are tiger. Human's children are human. So that is a fact. So I can say that Simba is a tiger. And also I can say that one more conclusion that Simba lives in cage. Uh, going, going ahead, I add one more uh, um, clause to this uh, knowledge base that Simba's father live in a cage. Simba's father live in a cage, not cave. Okay, cage. So then uh, uh, this uh, conclusion which we derived that Simba is a tiger will not change. Might be Simba lives in a cave gets changed to Simba is a uh, uh, Simba also lives in a cage. Okay. Um, so what happens here is this is non-monotonic which can be changed. But this is monotonic which cannot be changed. It, it is fixed for the whole process of uh, reasoning. So I hope this is clear. Uh, monotonic and non-monotonic reasoning. And uh, next one is, okay, this is how uh, the truth maintenance system is placed uh, in a, um, uh, in, in an in environment, in a ecosystem of, uh, uh, you know, expert system. So this is an inference engine. This is a knowledge base. This is truth maintenance system. So what happens? Uh, truth maintenance system will ask the inference engine. This is ask. Means this is A. Ask. And inference engine will tell. When our truth maintenance system asks, what does it ask? It asks, it asks for um, the new knowledge that has been added to the knowledge base. New uh, conclusions that have been uh, uh, derived. So, it, it also has access to the knowledge base. It also has access to the knowledge base. Both can, uh, you know, read uh, the clauses from the knowledge base. However, uh, this uh, truth maintenance system will ask the inference engine whether it has derived any conclusion on the basis of this knowledge base and whether it's uh, contradicting to the earlier conclusions that it has derived. Okay. Uh, that way, uh, these components of uh, expert system interacts. Monotonic, uh, as I already told you, monotonic uh, truth maintenance system will not 
allow uh, the certain conclusions to be changed because they are uh, true no matter what what is added to the knowledge base next is uh, functionality of a monotonic truth maintenance system truth maintenance system stores set of boolean constraints what are the constraints constraints are the rules uh, that says that that uh, says that certain things are right and certain things are not right so if now what is the lockdown constraint now at this particular point of time they, there are certain constraints imposed on the citizens um, so what are the constraints uh, the constraints are, are that um, for uh, no 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 person should go out of his or her home um, for for anything which is not very urgent or which is not very important uh, that is a constraint so uh, this tms stores a set of boolean constraints and uh, it assigns uh, truth values for the literals that satisfies uh the the set of constraints and uh, what happens is in uh, monotonic uh, in monotonic uh, truth maintenance system uh, we it it it, it is composed of three functions add constraint follow from interface function add constraint this in, this is an interface function which adds constraint to the internal constraint set it maintains a constraint set once a constraint is added it cannot be removed for instance if if it is said that simba is a tiger and now what is the constraint the constraint is that uh, that tiger part of simba cannot be changed you can change other aspects but that aspect cannot be changed so that is uh, one thing uh, next is follows from uh, this is also a function that takes two arguments it takes a literal and a premise set and it returns yes no or unknown if it returns yes then our truth maintenance system guarantees that l follows from uh, the premise set premise set means the knowledge which is existing in the knowledge base uh, premise are uh, um, let us look at an example here what are premise when i say birds fly and uh, penguin is a bird implies penguin fly these two are premises and this is consequent this is a conclusion which has been derived from these premises so these are the existing clauses that exist in the knowledge base uh, if no is returned then the tms guarantees that l does not follow from the premise set that is the sigma if uh, a, if tms is unable to determine anything it returns unknown this this is about the follows function next is interface function interface function 
it computes justifications as we know that expert system um, gives explanations and justifications um, for uh, it to arrive for a at a particular conclusion uh, therefore uh, it is required to have a justification function also for TMS tooth maintenance system it can determine whether the literal follows from the constraint and a premise set if yes then it should generate the proofs justifying the literals and justifying the constraints okay let us look at an example if we have this, this is a constraint set and this is a premise set. In premise set you have PW and the constraint set is like P implies Q, P and Q implies R, Q and R implies S. Here in this uh, justification function what is said that from the literals PW you are able to from the literals P and W, we are able to derive R. So this is the justification constraint. From P, we can get Q by implies statement. This is that. QR, from Q and R, you, we are imply, we implies S. So it is Q and R implies S. This is the justification that from Q and R we obtain S. And that is shown in this justification tree. S and QR you get Q and R implies S. And then P and W uh, from this P and W we, uh, it, it, R is implied. And from P Q is implied. So this is justification. Next one is contradiction handling. Uh, contradiction handling. Uh, you know, contradiction handling is mainly done uh, in non-monotonic uh, truth maintenance system because non-monotonic TMS allows the um, conclusions to be invalidated and then you can derive new conclusions given new set of uh, clauses in the knowledge base. Primarily what happens in contradiction handling is that uh, a special proposition symbol called, called contradiction is added and uh, we know that follows from uh, is a function when you give uh, two uh, parameters contradiction and the uh, premise set that is sigma if it returns yes uh, then what happens is it contradicts from the uh, internal constraint and uh, justifying literals is another uh, function and justifying constraints is also a function and these functions will determine whether the contradiction is uh, contradiction exists or not and if it exists it can be uh, updated uh, con whether conclusion can be uh, whether the new conclusions can be derived and existing can be updated. So that is done by using these three functions. So in this non-monotonic uh, um, TMS, what happens is uh, it, it can uh, override the things. So you, to do that, uh, it is required for TMS to attach a justification to a fact. Every fact must have a justification. When a justification is associated with a fact, then 
uh, we we can know whether we can update it or not so in this contradiction is handling is done by maintaining a uh, table and also it has uh, two kinds of uh, justifications required one is support list another one is conditional proof in support list we have in node and out node and you can see in this table what happens this is a fact what is a fact it is sunny so what is the support list for justification what is in and what is out one more point here is in represents or a list of all propositions that support the node to be true in means all uh, propositions that uh, states that the fact is true out node is a list of all um, out nodes that do not support the considered fact as true uh, let us look at this with an example so this is true and this is not true if node 1 the fact is it is sunny and what is this uh, sl support list 3 3 means what it is warm obviously uh, it is sunny and it is warm support each other actually uh, in fact uh, when when there is sunny it is warm and vice versa if it is warm it implies that it is sunny so this is it is supporting this to be true um, and on the contrary 2 and 4 nodes node 2 and node 4 does not uh, uh, consider it to be consider this to be true it rains it is night time uh, usually when it rains it is not sunny and uh, also if it is night time it is not sunny it is a known fact that uh, when it is a night there is, uh, there is no sun so these two nodes two and four that they are out and they do not support the considered node to be uh, as true it rains does not have any in and out it is not dependent any time it may rain it may rain or during day during night when it is warm when it is cold uh, it is warm uh, in is in is one which in which states that it is sunny uh, this node supports this it is warm on the contrary um, two two is not supported uh, because when it rains generally it is not very warm it rains and then um, the environment uh, goes a bit uh, cooler so it's not uh, uh, you know uh, supporting it to be true and when it is night uh, where it where it, it, there is no in in there is no in node means which support with which support that this node to is true uh, on the contrary there ha, there is a node which states that it it is not true uh, which is one it is sun uh, if it is a night time it is not sun so this is not so, um, in case any contradictory propositions or clauses are added, then uh, what happens is, uh, you know, contradiction arises and then uh, it has to be handled by non-monotonic uh, truth maintenance system. Conditional proof, uh, it says that... Uh, uh, a, a belief may be justified on the basis of several other beliefs. 
so a belief may be justified by the conditional proof if something is true we can say that something else is also true if uh, uh, simba's father is a tiger simba is also a tiger like that uh, we can prove by using the conditional statements and applications of a truth maintenance system to search so truth maintenance system also controls the search which is more specifically related to those searches that are needed in constraint satisfaction problem so as you are uh, aware that uh, csp constraint satisfaction problem uh, are those problems which uh, says that uh, um, a particular uh, uh, you know solution to a problem must also incorporate certain uh, uh, constraints if you are deriving a solution to a problem by satisfying the constraint then it is a valid solution otherwise it is not uh, so we know that uh, because truth maintenance system also deals with constraints uh, so it 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 also uh, um, helps in searches where you have to specify the constraint and what is the application of uh, tms2 uh, expert system um, it, it it is uh, having an application because Mm, you know uh, when whenever a contradictory statement arises then uh, it is the truth maintaining system that takes the control and then uh, that uh, tries to uh, resolve that so in diagnosis in planning and scheduling uh, in design in manufacturing in predictions in interpretation in all these uh, uh, areas in financial decision making in process monitoring and control instruction debugging knowledge publishing and in all other applications where there is a scope of getting a contradictory statement truth maintenance system will uh, uh, will take the control and will uh, try to resolve that uh, uh uh conflict and and then list of shells and tools okay these are uh, some some of the shells and tools uh, with re with respect to expert systems and their applications acquire is an expert system shell which provides a complete development environment for knowledge based applications uh arity is also an expert development package um uh, supported by developed by arity corporation it performs uh, uh, integrating uh, rule based and frame based representation of knowledge with various types of certainty factors art is automated reasoning tool it is also a uh, expert system shell and it is based on lisp lisp is a programming language is which stands for list processing and uh, it supports rule based reasoning and hypothetical reasoning and case based reasoning clips is you uh, is used to represent c language integrated production system for building expert systems so um, it is also a tool and uh, flex is also a hybrid expert system implemented in prolog prolog is a programming language um which stands for programming in logic pro programming and log logic and gensim gensims g2 it is it offers a graphical object oriented environment for creating um uh, expert kind of systems um mm. and guru is also an expert system development environment uh, hugin system is also a software package for the development of expert system knowledge craft k vision mail bot and uh, 
demycin demycin is tiny im, uh, imycin so these are all the tools that are required to build a expert system but remember students again i am telling you expert systems are obsolete they no longer exist now only machine learning uh, systems exist examples are google assistant and uh, apple siri and uh, microsoft cortana and there are so many other apps also intelligent apps uh, that perform the functionality of expert system however uh, does not are not built based on these traditional rules of expert system rather built using a new state of the art machine learning um, models okay students this is about today's class um i hope it is clear again uh, we will we'll have a class tomorrow bye